Uh, hi guys, uh, today is a Wednesday, November the 14th, so I hope y'all's day has been going okay, and um, you know, it's another day, and you know, I believe we're getting close to our deliverance, you know, out of this world. The Lord's going to be taking us home soon. And try your best to just, you know, continue day in, day out. Take it a day at a time. And realize that time is so very short. And we're in the last final critical moments. You know, the last final moments are the most important. So make it count. And um, continue about the Lord's work and and doing what He has, uh, you know, set you out to do. You know, we're each on our own path. Um, so continue on that you know, on that own path that you're on, doing the Lord's work, and I realize that time draws near, we're very close, guys, I really think we're getting close, and I did want to share, there was a, a dream I had last night, I do want to share, um, now I'm wondering if it could be in connection with the whole, um, was the whole flu shot dream I had brought up, a lot of people were pointing out, you know, they were saying, well, the Lord could be warning you that it's, um, you know, not to take it. And that's very valid because that's, that's very well possible. And so I'd been asking him about that, you know, the flu shot. If there's something really significantly bad about it, please let me know. Um, I've, you know, I'd ask, been asking him recently now as I'd got comments from people pointing that out about that dream about the flu shot. That, you know, the Lord could be warning not to take it. And so I'd been asking him about that. And so I'm wondering if this dream is con in connection with that. But it also could be, I, I believe I'd asked the Lord last night. You know, I was asking him, I haven't, you know, been getting as much to share with the, you know, the body. You know, I haven't get it, been getting as much dreams to share with the body. And, and if there's anything you want to show me, you know, to share with my brothers and sisters, you know, you can show me. You know, if you want to give me a specific dream or something to share, you know, go ahead. And so I'm wondering if this dream is more an answer to that or the, the flu shot. I'm going to go ahead and share the dream, though. Um, um, and so in the dream, it was like I was, I think I may have been on the college, you know, the college I used to attend. I think I may have been, like, on one of the walkways outside. Like, this dream it seemed to be taking place there. And, and it's like there was a television and and I knew a friend was gonna come visit me. Um, one of my friends, his name is uh, Tommy, Tommy, and uh, I knew he was gonna come visit me. And I was waiting for him to arrive, and and so I had this this television was on. I was watching it, and I noticed that um, it's like I was watching a maybe like a a, a movie. I think a movie like a, a comedy, maybe a lot a light com a comedy movie, kind of funny, nothing serious. It wasn't a serious movie or anything. It seemed like maybe a comedy movie, something funny. And I noticed my dad was nearby and he was, he was, I think he was laying down on a bed or something asleep. So he was asleep. And so I was, I think I was maybe messing with the volume, maybe lowering it or, I, you know, I didn't want to wake him up. I didn't want to wake him up, disturb him with the television as I was watching this comedy movie or whatever it was. And so, you know, I'm watching this, I'm waiting for, uh, Tommy to come, you know, over visit, like, I guess maybe he was going to watch the movie with me or something. I don't know. But, um, at a certain point, I think I, pa did I pause the movie on the TV or something? I did something with it. I think I may have paused it. I think I remember walking off because I thought may maybe Tommy had was coming up. Like I thought maybe I'd seen him off in the distance and I think I'd walked away and then I realized, oh, it's not him. Then I went back to the TV and, and I think I tried to resume the movie, you know, I was trying to, I think, start it back up to where I had left off or whatever. And this is the, and then all of a sudden, guys, it, um, it's like I was having trouble going back to this movie, comedy, whatever, this funny movie. All of a sudden the screen, it's like I was on a different channel or whatever. And guys, it was, um, it was literally, I was seeing, um, people with um smallpox and it was it was it was I think it was white white um 
was it white, I think girls, maybe younger. It might have even been young children, like white girls. And it started out like it would, the screen would flip to like a different person with smallpox. And I don't know why it was like, it was like white female, maybe young girls or young children. I don't know if fem- women are more susceptible to smallpox, but um, that's what I was seeing. The, 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 the horrible, the, this here like this with the, the, the pox really bad. And um, it was like, I did not want to see that. Like, I think I was trying to look away from the screen. And so it would flip a, the, it would flip like the screen, it would change to a different picture of a different person with the smallpox. And it did this for like, I don't know, was it like three or four? And then it started switching to, I, I'm wondering if it was people with different stuff. Like I remember something about a guy and I noticed all of a sudden then, then there appeared people next to me that were also watching this television now. Like there were some people near next to me that were watching the television. I don't believe Tommy had even arrived ever throughout the dream. I was waiting on, on him though. And, and so as I'm watching this, um, I noticed some other people were nearby. And I think as the screen was flipping images, like I think it was shown like some other people. I don't know if they had smallpox also, but I knew the, the girls, the females at the beginning had smallpox. I could see it. And, um, but so when it was flipping, the screen was changing. I think maybe there was a guy that, or something that maybe had, had something wrong. Was it with his tongue or something? And I remember, I think one of the people next to me had said like, oh, that, that guy has a, a black tongue, something about like a black tongue. And which actually the smallpox, I was looking at, there's a form that called black pox where it makes your skin appear black from, I think, hemor- hemorrhage or whatever. And guys, and that's pretty much where the dream ended. You know, I don't think Tommy ever arrived and he could represent the Lord in the dream. And, and in real life, there's a small chance I could be seeing Tommy soon, actually, p- potentially on this upcoming Sunday, a very small chance. I don't think so though but um I wonder if it could tie into some sort of time frame because I was waiting on on him to arrive in the dream I don't think he ever did but guys so in the the tv smallpox this is um so smallpox an infectious disease caused by two virus variants the last naturally occurring case was diagnosed in October 1977 world health organization certified global eradication of disease in 1980 so it's a bad, it's a vi- virus. Um, and here's the thing, guys. Um, down here. Um, what was I wanting to really mention? The last case of smallpox occurred in an outbreak of two cases. Birmingham, United Kingdom, 1978. Medical photographer Janet Parker contracted the disease at a University of Birmingham Medical School died September 11th, 1978. The professor killed himself. Um, and that's the thing. Um, it was weird. I think in a dream, I may have been on my former college campus. So I'm wondering if it could tie into something like this. And so all known stocks of smallpox were destroyed or transferred to two WHO laboratories, um, in the United. So one, so the stocks went to United States, CDC, and then some went to Russia State Research Center. Um, so technically, it's only supposed to be at two places in the world, the U.S. and Russia. And um, so I'm wondering if, I don't know, if the Lord could be warning about something with regards to the smallpox. And and this, this could very well be used. And we know after, you know, we know nuclear war is coming. Don't, don't be surprised if... Um, bio, biological warfare will occur also in conjunction with the nuclear warfare that will be coming and smallpox is definitely one of the viruses that could you know could be used in biological warfare um, it's definitely possible so it could tie into that as a warning for those left behind we, we know all sorts of diseases pestilence will be getting severe you know after the rapture and the nuclear war and it's going to be getting bad guys and um, so, t- so yeah, so there's two held by the U.S. and Russia and two, f- you know, facilities. And that's supposed to be it. Um, and I think I also read here, 
On July 1, 2014, six sealed glass vials smallpox dated 1954 were discovered in a cold storage room in an FDA laboratory at NIH location in Bethsaida, Maryland. So see, I'm wondering if the Lord could be warning maybe there's still something out there in, at like a research university, for example, or something. I don't know. That someone could be exposed to. Because like here in 1978, a photographer had contracted it. And I read they think she got it through the, she was at a floor, an upper floor in the building. And I guess the, the airstream had picked up the virus and had delivered it to her office where she was in and that's how she had contracted it the research um facility was at on a lower floor beneath her and so they think it got in the air duct but the weird thing was in the dream i think i was on my former campus so i wonder if the lord could be warning something about that but this could be a warning for those left behind um in ter- you know for biological war- warfare will probably be used also in conjunction with nuclear warfare during world war three it wouldn't surprise me at all and so the reason i was saying it could be in relation to the whole flu flu shot um you know i was asking the lord about that if it's really dangerous let me know but honestly i believe we're so short on time it's kind of a moot point it, like it doesn't matter you know if i get you know you take the flu shot or not at this point is we're about to go home. Um, it would probably be something more of a serious consideration if we had years on to the future, you know, and, you, and if you t- keep taking flu shots on into the future. Um, I believe we're very, very short on time. We're getting ready to go home. So I, I think the whole flu shot thing is kind of a moot, you know, a moot point. It doesn't even really matter at this point. So I'm thinking the Lord could be pointing to, there's a lot more serious concerns for what's getting ready to, you know, flu will be, like a cold compared to smallpox. Flu will be nothing. And, you know, smallpox comes back or is used in biological warfare, for example. But the whole reason I thought it could be related to the flu question was because the here smallpox vaccine, first successful vaccine to be developed in 1796. So, and it did work. It, it the, you know, the vaccination, you, you know, smallpox vaccine, they were able, able to eradicate it, the smallpox virus. And so I was wondering if the Lord could be saying, don't worry, you know, go ahead and take the flu shot. But I'm thinking it's more of a warning about what's going to be happening for those left behind. The flu is going to be, you know, a cold, a small sniffle compared to stuff like smallpox or Ebola, for example, if biological warfare occurs. So I'm taking it more as a warning for those left behind and the stuff that's getting ready to occur. As it was bad on the television, I didn't like seeing it. I think I was trying to look away. I was seeing these, um, it it was just not good. People with the smallpox, it was disturbing. I, you know, I did not like looking at it at all. And, And the whole, okay, my dad sleeping on the sofa, that's the people asleep. That's why I'm saying I believe this is more of a warning for what's to come. My dad was asleep, like on the bed or whatever, and I didn't want to wake him up. That's these people are staying asleep. You know, they're asleep to what's getting ready to happen, and the whole comedy movie or whatever. That is the people watching comedies. They're making light fun out of stuff. They're not taking stuff seriously. They don't realize what's getting ready to happen. They want to continue watching their funny stuff and laughing it up until the very end, and then it will be too late. And so. That's what the funny movie represents, what's going on in the the society right now. Um, And um, and then, you know, the the screen changing to these people with smallpox and the other, I believe maybe other diseases, but the focus was on the smallpox. I know those people in the beginning had the smallpox, the blisters and stuff. Like I knew it was that, you know, smallpox. So the Lord's saying things are, you know, going to get real and serious. No, there's no more funny time. It's going to, it's getting ready to go down the rapture and then soon following all the, you know, everything's going to break loose. And, um, and then my friend, Tommy, I'm wondering if there's some sort of time frame there. It was like I was saying, small chance I could be seeing him this upcoming Sunday. Very unlikely though, was I was thinking about some stuff involving him. Like I was maybe going to need to call him up, but I most likely won't. 
be seeing him. But I'm thinking there could be a time frame there. And he never showed up. Or Tommy, he could represent the, the Lord also. You know, his arrival. I was waiting on his arrival. But um, but most likely, I would think we would be gone before. You know, I don't think we're going to be here to see, you know, nukes drop or biological warfare start, for example. Um, we would probably be raptured by then. So I think it's a stern warning. The Lord's being clear everything's getting ready to go down and so just keep following jesus day in day out and um i hope to see y'all soon let me know if you have any input uh, god bless in the name of jesus christ